Hey everybody, Mr. Mathblog here. This, uh, this lesson is partial quotients, uh, so we're still uh, relating multiplication with uh, division here. So this is our fourth lesson in the book. So uh, here's our question. How can we use partial quotients to divide by a two-digit divisor? Okay, so here's the, an example. Danica can save $23 a month f uh, from her allowance and babysitting. If she continues to save this much each month, how many months will it take her to save a total of $775? Okay, so it looks like we're going to divide that $775 uh, by 23. So rewrite in one sentence the problem we are asked to solve. Well, uh, this one's just saying, what, what is um, 775 divided by 23? That'll get us our answer. So, All right, so we're going to divide by using partial quotient. So we're going to divide 775 divided by 23. Okay, here we go. So we're going to subtract multiples of the divisor. Remember, the divisor is the, this number right here, the 23. Uh, multiples of the divisor from the dividend. This is the dividend right here. Our answer is called the quotient, okay? From the dividend until the remaining number is less than the multiple. The easiest partial quotient to use are multiples of 10. Okay, what does that mean? Well, let's say, let me show you right here. So let's go ahead and subtract a multiple uh, of 10 of 23. So what's 23 times 10? Okay, or 10 times 23. Well, that's 23 with a 0, so that's 230. So we're going to subtract these multiples of, of the divisor right here. So, so 10 times 23 is 230. So when we subtract 775 minus 230, we get 545. Okay, now since uh, that, um, 230, we can, uh, there's another 230 we can fit in there. Let's do another 10 times 23 right here is another 230. So then we'll subtract those, and that gets us 315. Well, we can get another 230 on that, so let's do another 230. And see over here, I'm adding up. Here's 10 times 230, here's another 10, here's another 10. And we're going to add up these partial quotients at the end over here. Okay, and then so when we subtract 230 from 315, we get 85. Now we can't get another um, uh, 230 out of 85. So what we have to do is, is subtract smaller multiples of the divisor until the remaining number is less than the divisor. And then we'll add the partial quotients together. Okay, so so um, it, it, I just didn't want to keep going with the flip charts right here. I could have done 23 or 1 times 23 and then 1 times 23 again and 1 times 23. I'm just kind of cheating here. 3 times 23 is 69, so, so I'm going to subtract uh, 69 right here. But you can do 1 times 23 and subtract and just keep going. It's just going to do 1 plus 1 plus 1 over here. Okay, and then when we subtract, you're going to get to the same 16 right here, whichever method you did that right there. Okay, and so now we're going to add the partial quotients to find, uh, or add the partial quotients right here. These are the partial quotients to find the quotient, and this is the remainder, because we can't get any more 23s into this 16 right here. So we know that's going to be the remainder. So let's go ahead and add those. We get 33. So 775 divided by 23 is going to be those partial quotients plus the remainder. So 33 with the remainder of 16. All right, so this was talking about Danica and her savings account. So it will take Danica more than 33 months, because it's 33 months with the remainder of 16. So more than 33 months. Uh, to save that $775. Okay, just remember, depending on the question, we'll have a different example in the next one, uh, a remainder may or may not be used in answering the question. Sometimes the quotient is adjusted based on the remainder. Sometimes uh, you use it and sometimes you don't. Here's an example right here. Frankie's helping his father with uh, the supply order for his pizza shop. For the next week, the shop will need 1,450 ounces of cheese. Each package of cheese weighs 32 ounces. So let's complete Frank's work to find how many packages of cheese he needs. So he's doing 1,450 divided by 32. Okay, here's 320. Well, what number is that uh, times 32? Well, that's 10. So we'll put a 10 here and a 10 here. Okay, and it looks like he did another 320. So we'll put a 10 here and a 10 here. Okay, in fact, here's two more 320s and 320s. So we'll slide some 10s in right there also. Okay, and then this last one right here, well, 320, if we took half of that, half of 32 is 16, so half of 320. 
is uh, 160, so this must be 5, half of 10. So we'll put a 5 here, and we'll put a 5 here, and then that gets us a remainder of 10. And we know we're done because we can't divide 32 into 10. Okay, so now we're going to add up these partial quotients right here. And then the remainder is that 10 right here. So 1,450 divided by 32 is going to be this 45 with the remainder of 10 over there. Okay. All right. So how many packages of cheese is, is Frank going to have to buy? Okay. Well, he can't buy, you know, a remainder of 10. He's going to have to buy 45, but he needs some more for this remainder part. So he's going to have to need 46 packages right there. So the remainder says we're going to have to round up on that. Alright you guys, I hope you're having a great year. Take care.